What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I want to do something a little bit different instead of just kind of talking about, you know, in-game things of Black Ops Cold War. I want to talk a little bit about the Call of Duty Pro League. This is something that I've always enjoyed watching. I started watching uh, the Call of Duty Pro scene back years and years ago. I'm talking uh, like COD 4, Modern Warfare 2 days when they actually, you know, would show things on MLG, uh, MLG's website, you know, things like that. Uh, I've always enjoyed watching uh, competitive esports. Um, it started, I guess, a kind of an obsession a long time ago when uh, Halo was kind of big in the esports scene. You know, Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, those style games where you have these pro players that play, uh, you know, against each other in tournaments and things like that. And I just really enjoyed watching it. And over the last several years, I have been a big fan of different, you know, esports, whether it be League of Legends, uh, Counter Strike, things like that. But consistently over the past like three or four years, Rainbow Six, Overwatch, and Call of Duty are my favorite esports to watch. And since I do a lot of Call of Duty content here on the channel along with some other games, I thought maybe I would start doing a few videos here and there. Kind of just talking about the Pro League, talking about what's going on with the Pro League and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave me a comment if you do. That way I know kind of to keep going with videos like this. Of course, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it. Be sure if you're not subscribed to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have those notifications turned on. Check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Let's go ahead and get into some kind of uh, just information about this in case you have never really watched uh, a pro Call of Duty kind of tournament, uh, you know, games or anything like that. It's pretty much just a, a, a group of the best players in the world. There's 12 teams in the Call of Duty League this year. And these leagues can be from anywhere in the United States to even some that are overseas. Uh, you know, they represent the town, the place they're from. Not necessarily every single player on those teams are from that area, but these teams are, you know, just built to be kind of like a, a sports league. You know, if you think of traditional sports, whether it be NFL, NBA, uh, anything like that, even you go to your college sports, everybody has their favorite team. You know, everybody has a team they root for if you are a fan of sports. And esports really is no different. That's kind of the idea that Call of Duty has gone with. This was a new thing starting last year. They used to not do uh, Call of Duty tournaments in, in the league like this. This was something new that they adopted last year, kind of like Overwatch did a couple of years ago. So there's different teams from, you know, different areas. And of course, you know, not every place that, you know, in the U.S. or overseas will have a team, but people kind of just you know, are drawn to certain, you know, certain teams, certain players, that kind of thing. And I really just enjoy watching it, you know, just in general. When the Call of Duty League starts or, you know, when the Overwatch League starts, even like I've talked about Rainbow Six, if I'm home, I have time. I try to catch every game that I can. If I'm doing something around the house, I'll have them on in the background just kind of listening to them because I just find it very interesting, very intriguing to see these players that are the top probably 0.5% in the world. These are the best of the best, and they play like yeah, It's like nothing you've ever seen when these guys get out and play. A lot of people think, oh, I'll watch, I'll watch some of these pro tournaments, you know, and it really doesn't look like anybody's doing that well. They don't have crazy KDs or, you know, whatever the case may be. It's not like playing a public match. This is you going against the best player in the world. So not every game is going to be just a sensational, you know, kill-death ratio or crazy plays. But it's just to watch these guys play, to watch how, you know, fluid they are with the game, how well they know the game is just very enjoyable. And this weekend, we're going to have the CDL, the Call of Duty League kickoff classic. This is kind of going to be just a showcase, kind of a exhibition match, uh, just showing off the different teams. This is going to be this Saturday and Sunday. And during this weekend, they're going to announce the season, which does start next month. So we're going to have a start of the Call of Duty season next month. I'll probably do a video on that later on. Like I said, if you guys enjoy this, leave me a comment and let me know. But starting this weekend, if you guys would like to watch this, you can watch it on YouTube. YouTube kind of owns the rights for uh, that Call of Duty League. They have their own, you know, YouTube page, and they show all the uh, matches live. Have you know people that cast over it, just like like I said, a traditional sports. If you've never watched any type of esport, of course, this weekend we have the Dallas Empire uh, versus the New York Subliners. That's going to kind of kick it off on Saturday, January the twenty third. The LA Gorillas versus the Seattle Surge. The Atlanta Fays versus the Florida Mutineers. That will kind of end Saturday. And then Sunday, you got the London Royal Ravens versus the Paris Legion, the Toronto Ultra versus the Minnesota Rourke, and the Optic Chicago versus LA Thieves. Like I said, these are all going to be exhibition matches. They don't count towards their, you know, placements or, or, or you know, anything like that for the season. This is kind of just a, a, a kickoff thing to let you see the teams, to let you experience, you know, some of these teams playing before the season, like I said, starts next month. And I just, like I said, if you've never watched Call of Duty Esports, you're kind of interested in these games, you would like to watch something like that, I would highly recommend uh, kind of tuning in. 
Because like I said, these are the best players in the world. There's four players on each team. You can imagine, I, I just named all the teams that are in the league. So you, you can understand that, oh, I think 48 players in total, I think that's right, without their substitutes. Uh, you know, there are 48 players playing. And, and that's that, that's not a lot of players. You think about everybody in the world, how good these players have to be. And like I said, that's why I find it very, very enjoyable to watch. And these things are always fun to watch to me because if you like things like uh, – I'm going to take NCAA basketball for for kind of an example. People love to watch March Madness. People that don't even watch college basketball, uh, you know, like religiously, I guess you would say, watch, you know, the tournament at the end of the year because people really enjoy to see those Cinderella stories. And the same kind of thing can be said even with esports. Some of these teams are well-known. Some of these players are well-known. They've been playing for 10-plus years on the pro league. But now that the CDL has kind of gotten bigger, kind of blown up, they've gone with this traditional sports kind of idea it's getting bigger and bigger each year, and it's getting more storylines to it, uh, more Cinderella stories, more just just enjoyment overall, production value. Everything is getting better, and uh, it's just amazing, in my opinion, to watch it for so, for so long. I mean, 10-plus years I've been watching this and see how it's grown and to see the new people coming in and watching day in and day out. Uh, you know, even these teams, when they're just playing, when these guys are just playing on Twitch and, and just streaming their scrims, people will tune in like crazy. But when these tournaments start going on, the season kicks in, it is a really, a, like I said, a joy to watch. So if you've never watched it before, I would highly recommend it. Like I said, tune in this weekend. Like I said, January 23rd and 24th when this is going to happen. And I may continue to do some videos like this because, I, like I said, it's something I enjoy watching and something I like to talk about. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.